Ladies and gentlemen, today we found an extremely special motorhome. This 2020 Prevo Featherlight Quad Slide H345 just became available here at the Motor Coach Store in Bradenton, Florida. This is a bath and a half coach with an extremely stylish floor plan. So I'm really excited to show you an in-depth tour of this coach today. We're gonna show you through the basement bays, show you the interior of this coach. This is one of the nicest motor coaches available on the market right now. A lot of the times when we film these coaches, we have the slide rooms in, but this being a quad slide Prevo, we're gonna go into the basement bays with the slide rooms out, just so that you can see the access and the ease of getting in and out of these basement bays. I wanna point out a few cool things on the exterior of this coach, like the doorbell camera, really sleek styling, and Featherlight has a really cool chic design and a lot of cool little touches that I really appreciate on this coach. We're gonna see the side cameras around and it does have the blacked out wheels. And we do have a few shots with a GoPro of when this coach was brand new and it had chrome wheels on it. So you can get an idea of what it looks like with the black wheels versus the chrome wheels. I did have a chance to interview Jimmy Adams, the CEO of Featherlight Coaches at Sturgis back in 2020, where we did take a tour of this coach. You're gonna get to see a little bit of how some of our customers live their lives. Now going into the base, these have the rounded slides, very easy to access. So this first bay is gonna be a large pass-through bay, and the Prevo H3 is gonna be the tallest bays in the industry, the most storage. And this is on a power slide tray with this remote, so we can just press a button and that will slide out. I like to point out the little details like the feather light badge on the stainless face of this slide tray. You do have outlets in your bay. Bay two is another full pass-through bay with another power slide tray. And you can see how Featherlight finishes out all these boxes with the electronics in them, very clean. Bay three is gonna house the 20 kW generator. It's the PowerTech generator. And I just wanna point out, you know, the height of this slide room makes it very easy to access all of this. Bay four is gonna have a cooler on a manual slide tray. If you do wanna pull that out, make it a little bit easier to access beverages. And then the next bay here is gonna be your entertainment bay with the Samsung TV, the Sono sound bar. You do have your awning controls there. And then going into the bedroom, I wanna point out again the height of the slide room. It comes up to almost my shoulders here, so very easy to access. And then you're gonna notice when we go inside of this coach, how large this slide room is. I believe this is the super slide, so it's got the very large rear bedroom. Here's the side access to your engine. Just pop that up. That will release this engine hatch. We've got the Volvo D13, 515 horsepower. Prevo does a lot of cool little stuff like the belt tensioner here, making it very easy to change belts if you need. And keep in mind, Prevo builds tour buses. A lot of the VIP transportation coaches, a lot of these buses have a million miles on them. This is really an industrial machine that's made to go down the road, put a lot of miles on it. And there's a lot of value in having the Prevo service network available as well. They've got service locations throughout the United States as well as service vans. And I hear over and over from Prevo owners how impressed they are with the service they receive from Prevo. And then Featherlight is the converter and they build these in Suffolk, Virginia. And then Featherlight also has a dealership and service center down in Sanford, Florida. And there's a lot of value in purchasing this coach from the Motor Coach Store. The Motor Coach Store team will show you how to use everything. Make sure you understand all the systems and make sure everything is working before you go down the road. It's really a boutique experience, different than any big box RV dealer out there. Here's a look at the plumbing bay. Very simple. You have an exterior faucet, simple dump valve, your tank flushes. You have a touch panel out here where you can control your exterior lighting. You have your big industrial grade Headhunter Mach 5 water pump. And then they have this door that opens up where you have a little spot to put paper towel, a little soap dispenser, and then you have your power hose reel and a manifold system back there. So in this next bay, you've got your Aqua Hot and Featherlight puts this cool cover on the face of the Aqua Hot there. Then you have your toolbox and then a little spot to stow your stinky slinky and keep that out 
out of the way. Then you can see your aqua hot fluid reservoir back there. And here's where your magnum inverters are housed, a lot of your electronic components. And then the generator was on the other side of these bays. Here's the other side of that full pass through bay. You can see some of the boxes that house the breaker switches. Again, all finished out in that polished stainless look. Very clean bays, very well lit. And then the front bay is the other side of that full pass through bay, but I'm really excited to take a look in this interior. Let's go take a look inside. As you can see, the interior of this coach is a very chic, kind of a modern design. I had a chance to tour this coach with Jimmy Adams, the president of Featherlight Coaches, when this coach was new. And the name of this coach is St. Germain. It's really drawn inspiration from a really hip neighborhood, a greater Paris area that's called St. Germain. So there's lots of really cool design cues in this coach that I'm looking forward to showing you. So before we look in the coach, I wanna take a look at the cockpit area and the first thing I want to point out is the stitching on these captain's chairs. We have this done from a custom leather house in Virginia which is where we build the coaches but there's a company called Moore and Giles that will do custom quilting with perforation for us. We have this quilting pattern and then we can actually perf in the various shapes so it's ventilating the seat but it brings a really cool design. That's something that's pretty special that we do on every bus and it'll have a different quilt pattern depending on what the design motif is inside the coach. And we also have these large digital screens, analog Prevo dash. You've got this carbon fiber feel on the steering wheel, as well as all the carbon fiber around your gear selector, your rear view mirror selector. You can lock and unlock the baggage doors from up here. And I really like the vents that they used as well, a very modern style that remind me of the Mercedes-Benz S-Class. We upfitted this with these beautiful aluminum cast vents that come from the AMG Mercedes. You have a little cup holder and a little spot for storage. And then those of you that know the Prevo and how the Prevos drive, there's nothing like it. And then your passenger has their own navigation screen as well as a cup holder. Very simple, nice area. One of my favorite parts about the design in this coach is the diamond style on the ceiling. Very sleek, straight lines, very modern, but it's not too sterile of a deal in here. Those tied in with these floor that are almost like a modern farmhouse kind of a feel. And then I will point out that you have the flat floor over here. And when we look closely at how all of these lines and the tiles all match up, you can see that they change directions where the tiles are laid this way. And then coming halfway through the coach here, they start laying them in a different direction. Up front here, you've got an office area. This will come out if you have a keyboard tray, put a laptop up there, you have outlets and typically the door side is going to be where your patio view is. We have all the blinds down right now covering up those big beautiful Prevo windows, but you could sit right here, get your work done, have that nice view, and then we can also fold down a TV up front here, and then you have drawer space here. And I like the little touches that Featherlight does, like you can see that Featherlight logo in the drawer. Coming over to your couch here, this is a sleeper sofa, so it does have the pull-out bed, very comfortable. Then you have a really good sized booth over here with storage overhead. This is all lined with carpet and well lit. And then a nice little area behind your booth with a little more countertop space. Always nice to have somewhere else to set stuff down. More outlets, more storage here. Again, these little drawers with the Featherlight logo. Coming over to the galley, you've got the Viking microwave. All of your cabinets are lined with carpet, again, well lit. Then we've got these digital touch panels all over the coach. I didn't point these out already, but we can control the blinds, the climate control, the heated floors, your generator, your lighting, everything from these different touch panels. And one of the other cool little things Featherlight did in this coach is it's got a spot that will perfectly fit that Dyson vacuum and that Dyson charger built in right there. All lined with carpet. You've got to keep your coach clean, so nice to have a little spot for that. And then there's a good amount of drawer space in this coach. These drawers are lined with wine cork type liner, and then again, that dovetail construction with the Featherlight logo. Nice deep drawers, and then you also have the Fisher Paykel dishwasher. 
and more drawer space. Here you have the silverware divider. And again, it's like a wine cork lining on the bottom of these drawers. I really like that look. Here we have more pantry space, very well lit and a very chic modern design, even inside of these pullout pantries. And then we have our Fisher Paykel refrigerator, all very clean water dispenser, pullout freezer drawer. Now this coach is a bath and a half and a very unique floor plan that I don't think I've seen in any other coach. So we can actually close this pocket door off that goes into the back of the coach. And I believe that's an electric pocket door. So for some reason that didn't work, you could just slide it. We have a half bathroom, plenty of room here with the Tecma toilet, a nice bowl sink, a little medicine cabinet. And I like the simple light colors, a really cool texture on the wall. It's, again, it's very light in here, but not too sterile. So now we'll go back to that huge master suite. So if you do have guests and you want to section the coach off, your guests still have a place to sleep, a kitchen and a half bathroom. But let's check out this rear master suite. So one of my favorite parts about this coach is this huge shower in the middle of the coach. One of the other things we're kind of known for is really big showers. That's something I always hated in some of the coaches is a small, tiny shower. So we put pretty much the biggest showers you're gonna find in the industry. You've got a huge TV. And can you put YouTube on that TV and watch RVing with Andrew Steele while uh, you're in the of shower? Of course, it's already favorited on there. So you can catch up on, uh, on all your latest videos. The rainforest shower head and beautiful tile work that matches the floor and it just goes up the wall giving it a really nice look and then a teak seat as well. So if you want to sit down, have a nice little shower, watch some TV while you're in the shower, you're all set up. Or if you want to sit on the head and watch that TV, you're set up for that as well. And then a good size sink here, nice medicine cabinet. Again, a really cool texture on the wall. And then here in the middle of the coach, now it's a square design on the ceiling where we had more of a diamond print out, out front there. So lots of cool little subtle touches, how they change it up. And we do have another pocket door going back to the bedrooms. We have a full length mirror here. So when you're getting ready, you can see your entire outfit. And then coming back into this huge rear bedroom with that huge slide like we saw outside, you've got a lot of living space back here. The ceiling goes back to that diamond pattern with a very modern ceiling fan. So there's lots of storage in your master bedroom. You do have a king size bed, but over here we've got a huge closet. And I would bet that this is probably close, you know, at least probably close to 30 inches. So with the double hanging space, Space, probably close to 50, maybe 60 inches of hanging space with the light inside of your hanging bar to help illuminate your clothes while you're picking those out. And then you can remove this if you wanna you know, hang dresses or race car suits and whatnot. Next to the bed, you've got some nice countertop space that wraps around here, giving it a very nice look. More hanging space with your safe hidden in the closet there. Nice big drawers. A really cool design on the headboard with almost like a denim color really ties in together with the whites and grays. And this is something cool that you don't see very often. A nice little spot to sit down and maybe tie your shoes. Uh, it's always nice to have a bench or somewhere to sit in your master bedroom. And then you have a good amount of drawer space here, just utilizing every square inch for storage. And then this does have a TV on a televator as well. And then just more little storage cubbies here. We've got a stackable washer and dryer, nice spot to do laundry, and then a little spot to set your clothes there on that little bench if you you need and then more storage here in the back of the coach. If you are in the market for a late model quad slide Prevo, this Featherlight is a great opportunity. It's available here at the Motor Coach Store in Bradenton, Florida for $1,655,555. Serious and qualified buyers can contact Bradley Twait. His information is available at themotorcoachstore.com. Thanks to all of you that are subscribing. We hope you're all having a great day. Thanks again.